Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm going to show you how to create a cloud brush inside of Photoshop. This one is a requested video, so we're going to go ahead and get started on this one. I'm going to come up here to File, New, and I'm going to use 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels for this one. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 72 resolution. I'm working in RGB color 8-bit and I'm going to go ahead and click Create. Okay, so I'm just going to add a layer for testing. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock this layer because I'm going to add a blue gradient to it. So just to simulate somewhat of a sky, which is typically where you would see these uh, cloud textures. So I'm just going to come in here and choose. So I'll go ahead and use this one. And I'm just going to drag it up. And then I'm going to come here to my blank layer. So the first brush I'm going to show you is a big fluffy cloud brush. And I'm going to make sure that I have white selected here. And then I have the brush selected. I've already created it. But I just wanted to show you what the brush looks like. And I am using my tablet for this because you are going to get a very different look uh, when you're using your tablet versus just, uh, you know, using the mouse. I have made some adjustments for people that are using the mouse so that it doesn't look really flat but if you do have a tablet I would recommend using the tablet this is what it looks like with the mouse so not very different but much easier to control here with the tablet and you do get much better dimension here as well I'm gonna take my flow down to 75 percent because I think you get a better outcome like that so anyway, let's go ahead and show you what the settings are for creating this brush. I'm going to start here with a opacity of 100%. I'm in brushes right now. Uh, I'm starting with an opacity of 100%, a flow of 75%. And then I'm going to come here to the brushes. The brush that we're using is coming from Legacy Brushes. It is a default brush, the soft round brush. This is the one that we're going to be using for this. And I already created this. So I'm going to just go ahead and click uh, on that big clouds brush to show you the settings for it. But it started with that soft round brush. And then I came in here to brush settings and I made a few adjustments to it. So first of all, the size, 250 pixels. Angle zero, roundness zero, hardness needs to stay at zero. That's very important. And then I increase the spacing to 35%. So if you come here to shape dynamics, our size jitter is 100%. And this is going to make the size and the shape a little more random. We're using a control of fade. I did not use pen pressure here because uh, fade works with the mouse. So you know, if I'm working with the mouse and I, you see how that faded out there, that's me working with the mouse. So uh, we're going to keep it at fade. Our fade amount is 35 and minimum diameter 15. And then the rest uh, stays as it is. We're going to come here to scattering. We're going to scatter both axes 100%. Our control is fade 25. Count is going to be 10 for this one. Count jitter 100%. So we want this to be as random as possible. So we want to maximize that jitter. Then we're going to come here to texture. This is the most important part of creating a brush like this is getting that cloud texture in here. So this is the texture that we're going to be using. It is right inside of uh, Photoshop. If you come here to legacy patterns and more, we're going to come here to legacy patterns. And then uh, from here, it's going to be inside of patterns and that's going to be this one right here. It's called clouds. So there are a lot of other ones around it that look very similar, uh, but you're not going to get the same effect that you get with this one right here. So just make sure that that is the one that you're using. If you're in Photoshop 2020 and you don't have your legacy patterns, you'll have to come here to window patterns and you'll have to load them from here Lo legacy patterns and more then when you go back into your brush settings let's go back in there um, then when you come back into your brush settings you'll see all of that stuff here 
Now, if you're in an earlier version, like CS6 or any of the CC versions before 2020, you can come here to this little gear icon and you will have a list here. You can just choose the one called patterns. There's going to be a long list of uh, different patterns that you can load in. So you would choose patterns and then load that in there and you'll have all of these available to you there. So that is the one that we're using. We are scaling this to 200%. Our brightness is negative 24, contrast zero. Make sure that texture each tip is selected and your mode is color burn. Our depth is 100% and our depth jitter is going to be 20. Now we're going to come over here to transfer. Make sure opacity is set to, or opacity jitter is set to 10%. Our control is fade. We're fading 15. Minimum zero. Flow jitter 10%. Our control is going to be pen pressure. And then make sure that smoothing is checked off as well. Now I wanted to show you a few things uh, about using this brush. Because we are using a pattern inside of here, uh, it's going to change a lot when you use it on bigger documents. So let me show you what I mean. I'm working in a 2000 by 2000 pixel document right now. I'm going to open up a new document and I'm going to make it um, 6000. This is like maybe by 4000. Um, this is something that you would see like on an on a, a raw image or you know something like that where the images are super huge. So I'm going to add my sky back in here, add a new layer and I'm painting with that same brush. So I'm in here, I'm using that big clouds brush and you can see the difference, right? So it's, it's really, really small. So I'm going to make it bigger because this is a bigger document. So I'm at 800 right now. If I come in here, you can see that it's changed a lot. That's because we scaled up the size of the brush, but our pattern inside there is still that same 200%. So in order to fix that, we're going to have to come back in here to brush settings and we're going to go to texture. And then we're just going to bump up the scale of this to 800%. And you can play with this. It can go up to 900, 1000, whatever looks best for you. I find 800 looks the best, but then you got your clouds back. And you can see um, there's a huge difference between, you know, these and those um, other clouds. So that's what you'll have to do if you're uh, drawing in clouds using photos or just really big documents in general. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. I don't want to save it. So I'm back over here. And I wanted to show you another, let me bring the size of this brush down. Okay, so this is the first cloud that we made. Um, and that is using the big brush. I'm going to come in here because I do have another brush for you. I'm not going to show you, I'm not going to go through all of the settings for this. Um, I am going to have both of these brushes in the description so you can download them and take a look at the settings if you like. But uh, they both start with that same default soft round brush. But this one's a little bit different. It's a little more scattered. So you can see how this one is, you know, thicker. Uh, this one just has a little more scatter to it. I wanted to show you uh, coloring the clouds. So we have this first cloud, which is the white, which is typically what you would see. But then if you bring this down, I'm going to bring this down to 200% gray. That's going to be RGB all 200. You get a different type of brush. Looks more like smoke or a storm cloud or something. And then if you bring uh, that somewhere between white and that 200%, so maybe around 225, which would be RGB 225. There you get something more like this. And you can mix different styles of clouds together, but typically in the sky, this is what you're going to see, a very super dark gray cloud, and then um, these two variations, but this one is the most typical that you'll see. So another thing you can do here is add a layer style. So I'm going to go ahead and add an inner shadow to this. No, not inner glow. 
and you can see uh, the dimension that that gives those clouds and I haven't even made any changes to the the effect at all I would just lower the opacity and really not do anything else but you can see the big difference that that's also made in those clouds as well so just adding you know like an inner shadow would definitely make these clouds a lot more realistic as well and you can create colored clouds and maybe mix these together and you know create some interesting effects like that as well if you're interested in creating photoshop brushes i do have an entire playlist dedicated to nothing but photoshop brushes if you're interested in that i'll go ahead and leave a link in the description and up here in the corner as well so you can take a look at the collection i have of photoshop brushes if this video was helpful to you make sure to like share and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss another one and visit prettywebs.com for more design resources and tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching.